everyone, today we're going to be doing a much, much, much requested this week, Leona Lewis, Happy. And I think it's from American, no, America's Got Talent. She had a look on and I've been sent some pictures and some video links to look at. And as much as I can see, it's kind of neutral, blue, bit of shadow, tiny bit of liner and no fake lashes. So done one eye already because I did ask what you thought and I think I've come to the conclusion to mix it up a little bit so I'm going to try and keep the video short today and off I go first of all I'm going to prime my eye with a little bit of primer and I'm going to just stick that all over the eyelid I'm going to go right up to the eyebrow bone now I hope that I'm zoomed in enough and I've changed the lighting if you look Lighting is in front of us and it's a lot brighter up there. So let's hope you can see everything I'm putting on. And the noise, the snoring in the back is the pugs. They're right behind us on the bed. I'll show you on the end. And the stink and the snoring. And I'm just going to put a little bit of primer just under the eye as well. Because it's going to help that, the blue, blend. So that's that. Now where we go, let's go. So first of all, I'm going to start with the blue. So, it's a bit different. I'm going to take the little brush I had, where's it gone? That's it, I've been using this look. This is what I'm going to put it on with. But first I'm going to apply it with my little liner brush. Get a wet wipe. I'm going to be using some Sephora stuff today. I've got a massive palette from Sephora and loads of the colours that we're going for are in. So, we're going to be doing a bit of that. I'm going to just prime the end of the brush there so the blue sticks to it. And then, where's my blue? There it is. It's MAC and it's Deep Truth. Look at that. So the gorgeous shade of it. So just dip the brush and we're going to go in for the kill. So let's get this on. Well, first I'm going to start right down here. And I'm just going to do my makeup into the actual screen here. But it's easier than looking at the mirror behind, which is really far away. You want a kind of good thick amount. We're going to be blending some light blue as well. But in the meantime, get this on. I'm going to be running some competition soon. One to do Halloween and two, which will be later on in the year, for Christmas. I haven't thought what I'm going to be doing yet for them, but the prizes are massive. Bigger than I've ever given away before, courtesy of Sony, and that's all I'm saying on that one. So, I hope you like the idea of that. Stay tuned. Now, so you've got your blue on, then what I'm going to do is take a pencil brush, where, the, where have I put it, so I've got my brush again, go back in, just gently though, you don't want too much, and then we're going to just blend it, back and forth, so you're kind of smudging it, and this does move the powder so that it'll go in your eye, and that's when it starts forming in the inner corner and it does sting so just be careful doing this especially with such a big brush but we don't want it to look too like stark so that's why I'm blending it with this brush if you can see it's just gently blending it out into the skin then I'm going to take a light blue and I've got to show you this here yeah. it's huge right ready this is from Sephora and it opens out you get absolutely tons look see it all but we're using that blue it's massive it falls everywhere so that's the blue we're using and we're just going to gently place that on the inner corner and bring it along and by the end, there's not much blue left, so you end up with a darker on the outer corner. You see? You get that kind of two-tone effect. The colours complement each other lovely. Now, so we've got a primer already on the top lid. I'm going to go in with a little 
patty brush and I'm gonna pat on some petty cold pink. I've got dust everywhere. And I'm just gonna stick it on all over the top. So really get it in there. It's a nice neutral colour. It's got a beautiful neutral shimmery colour on the top eyelid. And then once you've got that on there, you want to just bring it up because then it'll be great as a highlighter. I'm going to put it right into my eyebrow bone as well. So just on the finger there and just gently go right up. Just adds a bit of highlight. I've got a lump of black there. Can you see? I don't know what's happened with it. But I'll get rid of that. I've got my wet wipe here. To get rid of any marks that happen. It's still there, but we'll remove it later. Right. On with this. Now I'm going to take a bigger brush. Where did I put it? Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm not got it. I'm going back into the pink and I'm going to just gently go right into the inner corner. I really want this part to pop. And by going right into the inner corner, it adds shine. Then you've got the light blue and then the pink on the top. It looks lovely. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to take your liner. You're going to dip it in to some black liner. So you've got your liner brush. Dip it into black liner. And then I'm going to dip it into that. That is optional. I want my eye to sparkle on the top, but a little bit of black liner will do just the job. And I'm just gently going to run it along the top lash line. To be honest, before we started this, I should have showed you the tight lining. Because for this look, it's pretty dark on the outer corner. So what I like to do is, I do a bit of tight lining underneath on the other eye I did. So, just lift that out. Just until you meet it on the outer corner there, look. And I'm going to leave that there for now. Get some more and we're going to bring it right into the inner corner. There you go. Now take the fluffy brush. Where have I gone and put it? Terrible. I'm all over the place. And I had everything out. There you go. I knew I had it somewhere. I'm going to take a mixture of the dark. So I'm going to put a little bit of twilight ash on. Mix it with a bit of the blue. It's got like a really dark look. And then I'm going to just gently, out a corner, bring it up. And the reason I'm rubbing it in a circular motion in the outer corner is just so that it glides on a bit better. You'll see it start coming together and it'll start pulling the actual pink from your eyelid into the colours. And that generally blends it out anyway. You don't need any more blue or black. So you see, that's well blended out. This one needs a lot of work, so at least we've got the idea of it there. I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to go back over with some pink just to blend it out a bit more. Out a corner like that and then blend it up and out. It's just to give the idea that the outer corner is dark, but it's not dark in a black way, it's dark in a, a blue-black, like a really sparkly blue-black. A bit dark. Thank you. 
and then I'm just kind of bringing it and blending it across the eye into the pink take a little bit more I want to get it balanced out and I don't know if it's the light in here or what but this side looks a lot less balanced and too dark up here You see now that's the problem when you do one eye on here and then you come back to do the other it just seems to go funny because you've got to remember what you did and what your steps you took so there you go I'm going to put some black liner on underneath so we're going to do some tight lining so before I put anything else I'm going to lift my lid up like that and it tickles like hell when you do this uh, ow 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 tickle 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 <laughs> But you see how it's just dark at the outside corner? We'll get some here as well. This should have been done before primer and before anything eyeshadow wise. And I'm just going to gently run it across the lower lash line as well. See how my eyes watering? Because it's not normal to pull stuff under there, but it does look good. It's one of them things, do you or don't you? But. Let's get the mascara on now because then I'm going to put some blush on and some lips. And I'll show you more of the Sephora kit. So I'm just going to tip my head back and no looking at my nose. I'm using MAC mascara and it's plush lash. And can you see one of my lashes is going in a, going in a funny direction? It came out during the book shoot. Because I've done so many looks for the book in a day as well. It was like they were crammed in over a couple of like weeks. There's just so many on top of all the videos I was doing for YouTube at the time. And so taking the makeup off, I lost an eyelash, but it didn't go back properly. So it's kind of going at an angle and I can't do anything with it. It's irritating. Put a little bit on the lower lash line. Just a little bit. Funny because when you go at certain angles, your eye can look messy and then the other side it looks totally fine. But my side profile of my eye is not that nice. So that's that. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip it in this. Have a look. So I've been using the messing about. I used a combination of these two by Sephora and it's the middle blush, which is like a pinky colour, and then a bronzy orange. It looks far more orange on the camera than it is in real life. But I'm going to just take a swoop of that. And then a swoop of the pink. And just gently like that. So we're going to go around. See, it's very dark and we're going to blend it out. I'm going to kind of bring it down. And go back into the hairline as much as possible. Now, where's that lipstick? There it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of this NARS, and it's called Co, but it's called Belize, Belize. And I'm using a bit of L'Oreal's Glam Shine, and this one is. Pearly Nude Glow. I'm using a bit of both because she's got a, a nice mixture of pink with kind of like a sparkle. And that's all I'm doing on my lips. I'm not lining them today. Now I'm 
really, really, really stressed right now. And as you can see, the skin's really bad. But, can I have it all? Now, the L'Oreal. All done. And there you have it. I really, really hope you like my Leona Lewis Happy from the American... America's Got Talent. I'll get it right one of these days. Makeup inspired tutorial. I hope it's pleased a lot of you. I know a hell of a lot have been asking for this one. And I must admit when I seen it, we said I thought, wow. So there you go. I really, really hope you enjoy. I also got something to show you. As promised, these came today. My book. Yes. And I'm going to show you a quick little peek inside. I think it's fantastic. And if you do get it, I want your feedback on it. I've worked hard and a lot of effort went into it. And it, I like it. I really hope you like it. I absolutely love it. I got a copy, gave it to my mum, wrote a little note in saying without, all, without you this wouldn't be possible. Which it isn't. And she burst into tears. And she's not even into makeup. She absolutely loves it. So she's dead proud of us and so I hope... I hope, hope you like it. So that's it. That's from me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed us all. And if you join we'll all have fun. We did last night. We hope we do it again tonight. Come and join me. Zoom, zoom.